Hello, 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 hello everybody Happy New Year Um, I mean, it's, I think you're watching this on the 6th of January So it's not really, you know, New Year's But it is the New Year, so here we are Um, so this is kind of a part one of two videos But, um, you can only, you can just watch this one if you're only interested in this one, the next one will be going up next week and it's um, the movies and TV shows that I've watched this year and this is just um, events I've been to this year, sort of like moments and memories that stand out uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go with it, I have a few props to show off but not much, mostly it's just gonna be soft speaking, so if that's for you, then stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so let's begin. Um, I have a list down here of all the things that I've done this year. Um, let's just find it. Okay, actually just before I start speaking about all of this, um, I should say that I think all of these events I went to with my fiance, so if I'm like talking about where and stuff, that's who I was with. Anyway, uh, the first thing, kind of place we went this year um, that's significant is um, we went pottery painting. Uh, we went in January and February, and this is what I made. I'll bring it closer to you. Okay, the shadows are not... <laughs> the shadows are making it look a little bit scarier than it actually is. Um, it's just a money box um, that I painted to look like um, my OC, which is original character. And yes! Um, isn't she lovely? I was quite proud of myself, definitely the best pottery painting I've done. It was a lot of fun, and my my fiance made this beautiful plate that had all the seasons on it. So cool. But anyway, yeah. So that uh, it was the first kind of event of this year. Then what else happened? Oh yes. So I'm getting married in 2023. Uh, so this year. Sorry, I'm pre-filming. <laughs> I'm pre-filming, so I got a bit confused. Um, so I'm getting married in 2023. So in 2022, um, there's been a lot of wedding planning, as you might imagine. So in February, my fiancé went to get her wedding dress, which is very exciting. And I'm not going to be talking about the wedding stuff. I don't think in this video because I'm planning to do a, a whole video kind of talking about it so I'm not going to mention all the wedding planning but trust me there was a lot, there was a lot that we went to this year to do with the wedding so yes there was Valentine's Day which was really nice um, we went mini golfing and yeah just had a, we had a really nice time she made me French toast Um, yeah, it was a really, a really good Valentine's Day. Um, I can't remember what else we did. I think we did other things, but, oh, we cooked a meal. We cooked a meal together. Yeah, it's pretty chill. It's nice. Um, I'm kind of, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm talking about some things and not talking about others. Like, there's other things in between that were lots of fun. Um, things like seeing my cousin. I saw her a couple of times this year um, But I don't know. I'm just kind of talking about <laughs> I'm just talking about what seems right to talk about. I don't know if that makes sense <laughs> Okay um, If I have stuff to say, you know, I'm gonna talk about Oh, yeah, we went to see Rob Brydon And that was a really fun uh, trip out. I think um, <laughs> it was 
our first kind of live event in the year and also for a while yeah that was fun it was and there was a lot of singing he does he does quite a lot of singing there was a lot of singing there were some jokes in there of course because he is also a comedian we cut we kind of went for the we we just really like rob bryden so we went for the jokes really but the music was good as well um i couldn't tell you now the funny stories that we have from that trip i did write them down in my diary because Oh, do you know what happened? We were... <laughs> we went through this phase a while ago when we first moved in together where every time we'd leave the house we'd have some kind of enormous adventure like just so many things would go wrong. I kind of want to make a video about it someday um, just talking about everything. Um, I guess things going wrong can be stressful and that's... Uh, Obviously not what we want for this channel, but maybe for like a little side video that's just meant to be kind of fun. I kind of like to do that, but for this one we googled a car park and we turned up and it was a private doctor's car park and it was all like walled off and everything as well. So um, yeah. We were then frantically, well, I was frantically searching for a car park on Google Maps while my fiancé drove, so that was quite funny. <laughs> um, but the show was fun, it was good, it was a good night out. Oh, yes, okay, this one, this one's quite good. So, uh, in March, uh, we, it, my, my dad's birthday is in March, so... We went out to a car museum because he loves cars and I I went along because I was like, well, obviously it was his birthday, <laughs> obviously I was going to go along with him but I wasn't kind of too sure what to expect and I didn't really think it would be something I would enjoy outside of it being his birthday and spending the day with him and my mum. Um, but it was really good, like it is my favourite days this year <laughs> and that, that, that was kind of unexpected. I don't know what it was about it. I think obviously it was it was nice to be there with my parents and just um, have a nice day out with them but also it was it was actually quite interesting to see the cars. There were some that I recognised from TV and stuff and that was quite fun. There was a monorail that and there was an Alice in Wonderland garden as well. Just overall, it was a really nice place, a nice experience. And then we went out to Coat for dinner, and I love Coat. It is an amazing restaurant. Um, so, oh, that's that's another thing. That's another that's another day. A year before the wedding, my fiance and I headed out to Coat for a dinner, just us two, and that was really nice. Um, more stressful parking but apart from that it was it was great so that's just a little one but yeah I I really liked that car museum and the whole day was just fab. Uh, what else was there? What else? What else? What else? Um, these aren't actually in order by the way <laughs> um, but that doesn't really matter but like, I'm kind of going through sort of by month, unless I think of something else that I had forgotten, so yeah. Ah uh, yes, um, so I went to Doctor Who Time Fracture this year, and I have props for this one, one second. I have this scarf. a triggers video so I'm not going to be messing about with them too much but I thought it would be a fun addition a fun addition to show off some of the stuff just as a little, little extra that's quite nice though I 
don't know if to include this in a video. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so time fracture. <laughs> I was excited to go to time fracture because Doc 2 is my favourite TV show. But I was also nervous. handle talk <laughs> basically time pressure is they have actors and you're in the story and you're trying to solve things and do things and etc and the actors lead you through the story um and you do interact with them and like ask them questions and stuff and <sighs> I'm just I feel like I'm going red right now a little bit anyway I think what it is, is I want to be at their level, I want to be able to act along with them, get lost in the story and like just do, do it, but I'm too shy, so I always feel really nervous talking to them and I'm, th and I'm like, oh my god, I'm being so difficult. I feel sorry for the actor talking to me as I'm just like, <laughs> so we found out, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. I didn't have to speak to them too much because my family with me, had my fiance and my parents, and so they did like a lot of the speaking. <laughs> but I did some. <laughs> I'm bad at, at that stuff, but it was, it was really fun. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I went. It's a great memory, like, I was, it was, it was like nothing else. It was fantastic. And there was so much to do, so much to look at, so many little references and funny moments from the audience as well. Um, there was this one bit um, where they have an audience member come up and um, uh, basically uh, they have to give an opinion on something, I don't want to spoil that or anything, but they have to give an opinion on something. And, <laughs> and this person went, um, something was happening in this person went, nah, 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 and, <laughs> and, then, and then one of the actors, um, was speaking to this other actor going, ah oh, yes, they say, nah, 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 <laughs> like that, I don't, I didn't do that justice, it was so funny, it was great, it was, it was really, it was a great, day, it was really special, and there was lots of fun things about it, and uh, yeah, that was good. And then after we went to that, we went to this little charity shop, which was really, really nice. I got a few um, bits of clothing um, from this charity shop, and yeah, I lost my bag in the rummage room. Luckily, I did manage to get it back, so that was okay, but yeah, um, I had that, and um, we also got a McDonald's, so it was great, it was a great day out, absolutely loved it, fab. I went to see Back to the Future the musical, that was incredible, um, the effect was so cool. The guy who played George McFly, wow, wow, so accurate, and Marty, of course, and Doc were great. Um, yeah, really fun musical, definitely uh, one of the, the best like shows I've seen. So good, really enjoyed it. Um, that was uh, my Valentine's Day. What else did we do? Oh, yes. Okay, in April, uh, something very special. I think this was my, uh, it might be in a Christmas or anniversary present. Um, and I have to say, some of my favourite days this year, my fiancé and I went to stay in this hotel on the first night. We 
went to Pizza Express <laughs> but <laughs> we stayed at a premier inn and this is important for the story um, we walked about half an hour to get to this Pizza Express and it was quite cold and I didn't have like a coat or anything <laughs> but we, we walked to this Pizza Express because we really I, I hadn't really I'd only been once before so we were walking there just as we approach it, just as we, 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 we see it, right next to it is a premier inn. So that was quite funny, you know, <laughs> we could have picked that one, but nope. Um, yeah, that was, that was amusing, but we had a lovely pizza express, and then, uh, we went to see, the next day, we went to see The Cursed Child. I have a problem. The Curse Child was absolutely amazing. It was the the production quality was outstanding. I mean, the effects they had. It was watching magic on stage. It was just amazing. The choreography. Wow. Properly good show. Um, so immersive so much to love about it. It was fantastic. Like, wow. Properly mind-blowing wow. Um, in terms of its relation to the Harry Potter series, like, I don't see it as canon. Um, for the non-fandom people, I'm so sorry. For the non-fandom people, canon is, um, <sighs> okay, so, if something happens in a TV show, uh, then it's canon, but if someone says, uh, has a theory about something, then that can be a head canon slash not canon. Okay, I hope that makes sense, but I'm just saying, I think The Cursed Child is good. It's a good story, um, like a really good story, interesting. I, I loved the production, I loved the actors, I loved the script, like, that was all fab. But in terms of, like, do I see it as canon? No. Like, there were certain things about the characters and stuff that I was like, hmm, I don't see that happening even in this time span, right? So, yeah, I definitely don't take it as, as canon personally, just me, but the actual show, like, just enjoyment of the show as its own thing, Wow, honestly, mind blowing. So I definitely recommend The Cursed Child if you are in any way a Harry Potter fan. It's amazing. In May, the uh, main thing to happen in May was uh, I we went to see Years and Years, um, and I I got those tickets for my fiance because the uh, Years and Years are her favorite band, and that was great. That was a really good. I'm gonna say this every time I talk about an event, aren't I? But, uh, that was lots of fun. Um, I don't listen to, like, a lot of years and years, but I listen to a little bit. And, uh, the, the main singer, Ollie Alexander, is great. And there were some really, um, really nice set pieces. The music was poppy and fun. And, yeah, it was a great, great thing. Great night out. Um, we did we did arrive a little bit too early though because we went there when doors were opened, and I didn't realise that there was a mosh pit. We had the seating, so of course they have the doors open way before the show so that people can get like at, in at the front in a mosh pit. So we were there for a very long time. <laughs> I think about two hours <laughs> waiting for the show to start and uh, so that was a bit that was a bit much I uh, definitely should have got there later but the actual show uh, the, the music and everything was fun, lovely very much enjoyed it personally and there was there was, a, there was an engagement on stage someone asked someone else to marry them that was quite exciting 
June was fun. Uh, we went to see 222 a ghost story, or 222 a ghost story, whatever you want to call it. Wow. If you can, if you can, go see it, go see it. I'm, I, I won't say anything. I will just say it was, wow. We actually booked it for, because there were some cast members that we really, um, liked, but then they changed the casts, like we, we didn't realise they changed the cast, so they changed the cast, but there were more people, there were like different people that we liked in the second cast, so that was great. Um, not that it was the second cast, but second cast that we, we saw advertised. Yeah, so that was great. We went to see Emma Thackeray, and it is uh, the second time I've seen her perform live, and it was amazing, it was so good, and we also got, we had a meet and greet, okay, I was a bit nervous, <laughs> meet and greet, I've had good experiences, I've had bad experiences, um, but, you know, I really, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do it, we're gonna, we're gonna get this meet and greet, we're gonna have photos, it's gonna be fun. So yeah, we got a meet and greet, mm, I love her, she's lovely. <laughs> I love her music, and I love her, and, um, yeah, was great, really good, very enjoyable, some absolute classics she played, um, that I was really hoping she would, um, I was singing my little heart out, which, I'm sorry to everyone around me, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but it was so, it's the loudest event I've been to, my goodness, the speakers were right there, and it was very loud. Um, so that was, I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> I got out and I was like, hmm, everything feels a bit weird right now. But yeah, no, it was great. It was so good. Um, loved, loved, loved seeing her perform live again. One of my favourite musicians ever. Um, and that whole weekend was great, actually. Um, uh, we've seen Lizzie's family quite a lot this year, and that weekend just was a really good one. I I can't even tell you like the specifics why. We just had a really good time, you know. But yeah. Oh, July. July was quite intense. <laughs> you gotta think we're a lot cooler than we actually are. Um. We went to Ibiza for a weekend. We had an Ibiza weekend. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, Lizzie's family um, and like uni friends, they were having a, a reunion and we were invited, but we could only go on the weekend. Um, so we flew out on the Friday and arrived at about one in the morning on technically the Saturday, uh, and then we, yeah, we came back, um, flew back on the, on the Sunday, but arrived at, um, we were due to arrive at about 1am, uh, on Monday, uh, you know, but there were, it was hectic, we didn't get out of the airport until about three, I think. We landed, we actually did land at about one, but I don't think we got out of the airport until, until about three. So that was kind of intense. Um, but yeah, that whole weekend was, wow. I've not done something like that in my life. I hadn't flown for years. Um, I was a bit scared too. I wasn't scared of the, the actual flying. I've always been a bit scared, no, not always, but I've been scared of security for a very long time. I, um, I have a different surname to my mum because my mum didn't change her name when she got married and, um, basically this guy asked me if I was kidnapped when I was about six. I mean, he didn't say it in that way, but... <laughs> But he, that's what he was asking, he was like, is this your mum? And I was like, um, yeah, so I was a bit scared of security. 
for my entire life because obviously as a child like you that fear gets set into you if you have that experience um but then you know I went through security just fine I was like oh right I've built this up in my head so that was but it was very intense I mean flying to Ibiza I hadn't flown for years hadn't been abroad for years you know um never thought I would go to Ibiza <laughs> um it was it, it was very intense but it was great it was really lovely it was lovely to be there um I met a lot of um a lot of these like family friends and stuff um that's my fiance that's her name I say um but yeah uh that was crazy um it was really fun we had uh, there was a pool I spent most of my time in the pool and I was reading at the time I was reading the Silmarillion <laughs> and everyone else had bought these like small kind of beet read type books and I was just sitting there with a massive Tolkien book it felt pretty cool not gonna lie I mean uncool but cool in my <laughs> in my mind so yeah that was fun hectic but fun we also went to Mamma Mia the party which is this um it's at the O2 it's this um they built this restaurant and it's like you're in Greece and it's a story uh you know centered around Mamma Mia uh the film and they the actors sing and dance while you eat a three course meal so that was really interesting i i don't know it was it was very a very new experience um it was it was great though it was really fun um i do you know something before this year before 2022 i i really hadn't been to that many events or like theater shows or anything I've been to the odd convention, a couple of Doctor Who conventions, and of course my parents took me to like some events once in a while, but this year we kind of went for it with the shows and stuff, and it, it was really good. I'm gonna say really so many times in this video, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so Mamma Mia was great, it was just a, a very unique experience so that was good and we were staying in London for a, a weekend then and we also went to see Wicked uh, we went to the Science Museum as well I love the Science Museum I've been a uh, maybe was that my second time actually it might be my second time but um I love the Science Museum and then we went to see Wicked in the evening and uh, that was that was also really good. Really fun show. Uh, I didn't really know what to expect. I had wanted to um, see it when I was a kid because I saw it advertised on the tube. But um, yeah, it was really good. I'm sorry if I keep saying that for everything. <laughs> I suppose I'm not as inventive as I would like to be with my vocabulary, but yep. Okay. So, what did we do in August? Uh -huh. Another prop one, another prop one, how exciting. So, we went to Pride this year. I mean, I've been to Pride when it's been on uh, before, but this was, this was my fiancé's first Pride out of the closet. Um, so, that was cool, and we made these signs. Can you see that's okay? I think so. So, this was my fiance sign. And this was my sign. Yeah. So, obviously Heartstopper has been a big part of our lives this year, 2022. Um, and uh, 
I'll speak more about that in my movies and TV shows. But yeah, we decided to make little fun signs and we always just stood next to each other holding them like this. And we got some really nice responses. I'm not used to being like, I'm not used to drawing attention to myself. So that was a really, um, a new experience for me, I suppose. And I really enjoyed, like, hearing people's, like, reactions to it. There were people, like, like squinting at it and I'd hold it up a bit more, like, a bit more so they could see. And they were like, oh, you know, there was, there were some really nice reactions that I wish I could relive because, <laughs> honestly, they were just really positive memories in my head. Um, so... Yeah, that was fun. That was just a little one, but it was fun. Um, we went to the Lake District uh, with Lizzie's family, and that was great. Um, I hadn't been to the lakes for a very long time, and we we went we went on a a boat, and that was pretty cool to say did enjoy the boat um, and yeah we just didn't really pot it potted about a bit in the lakes and that was just lovely just a nice little nice little trip um there were a few other things around that time because we stayed with Lizzie's family for quite a bit so we had a lot of different Things that we went to, went to ice cream shops and um, really nice parks and that kind of thing. So that was great. And then, ah, uh, yeah, September, 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 September. So yeah, my birthday was in September, as you might be aware, because I made a video about it on my birthday. Uh, and also I did a, a birthday haul afterwards. Uh, that was a great day. I went out and uh, did some some shopping. Just went to these little this little shop that I really like. Um, that sells like a bunch of fun antique stuff in it. So went to that. Um, went mini golfing. That was great. My dad did really well. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it because when we went mini golfing when I was a child, he spent a really long time on one hole. I think it was like 40. Like, it's obviously you're only meant to go to a certain amount, but we were just kept counting as he kept doing it. But he did so well. Um, and he got lots of holes in one. Anyway. So that was that was really fun and then uh what did we do we did present opening when uh, my fiance got back from work and we did some gaming um switch games and eating and just chatting so that was lovely lovely birthday um i have another prop this is my final prop one of my birthday presents Dan Howell. So I've watched Dan Howell since mm, 2014, I think, and the show was brilliant. Take me back. <laughs> it was great. Uh, definitely uh, like a bucket list ticked item. Um, such a clever, beautiful, like funny but emotional show. So much to love. Of course, I won't be spoiling anything uh, about it, but it was absolutely fantastic and it meant a lot seeing it. It really did. It was great. So, I do a Macmillan coffee morning every year um, to raise money for uh, Macmillan nurses and so 
I did that again this year. I think I've been doing it since I was about, I want to say 10 or 11 and I'm 19 now. So yeah, it's been a long time. Um, it's something really important to me and it hurts my feet. It hurts everything in fact because I spent a whole day baking but it, it really is worth it and yeah it's just really important to me and yeah so I did that this year of course. Um, it was really special of course. Uh, October all around so it was time to decorate for Halloween went out and picked up some Halloween decorations and stuff, some extra ones. Um, we went to the Drag Race UK tour uh, in October and I've never been to a drag show before so I didn't know what, well I kind of did know what to expect I guess but I also didn't. Um, but we saw some of our favourite drag queens so that was good. Ah uh, yes and I went to an Alice in Wonderland event which was kind of like an escape room thing. Uh, you just go around and you solve clues and yeah, it was a fab, fab day out. I went in full cosplay of the White Queen, um, first time cosplaying in public, which was uh, really interesting and lovely and yeah, it was a really fun experience. Another one that I was slightly nervous to do, I was slightly nervous to be cosplaying in public, but it, it, it once I had the cosplay on I was like, no I can definitely, this is absolutely fine, this is great. So yeah, that was fun. We always had a disaster because it rained, we were on the final like question thing and it rained and the droplets on my phone were not letting me type in the answer and then it was like typing by itself and I almost forfeit the whole thing. We almost didn't finish it because I accidentally almost forf forfeit everything. Wow, but it was okay. We came up with a plan with like a few seconds to spare. I think about two or three seconds to spare. My mum managed to take control on her phone and type in the answer. So That was a good day. Uh, went to the pumpkin patch. We can go to this pumpkin patch every year. We have done for like three years now and uh, it's always a lot of fun picking out pumpkins and we also had the food there and the food was really nice. These burgers were so good. So yeah. And actual Halloween which was fun and I I can't really remember what we did, we just had a good Halloween. <laughs> just had fun and yes. Um and I'm actually filming this uh mid November. So <laughs> uh so far what's happened is I went to a work quiz for my fiance's work and that was lovely. Um, it was quite a lot of fun meeting her, like, colleagues and, and, and such, and, um, I think we came second. They didn't announce the second person, but about halfway through the quiz, they said that we were in second place, so I think we did all right, considering there were some hard questions in there. Um, yeah, that was quite amusing. Great night out though. Lots of fun. And uh, bonfire night, uh, which I always enjoy. Cozy. We had hot chocolate and a uh, treacle tart and it was great. So that is where I'm up to really. Um, but the final thing I can say is um, in December we're going to see a live um, The Nightmare Before Christmas thing and that's exciting but that's pretty much it and then obviously Christmas plans which are just kind of traditions and stuff so yeah that's kind of it. Uh, this is 
turning out to be longer than I expected. I guess I can talk a lot. Um, I'm very sorry if I was repetitive a little bit. I uh, just really enjoyed everything I did this year. So many great events, but yes, thank you so much for watching this. Let me know down below some of your favourite moments and memories from this year. And yeah, thank you so much for watching.